shooting in Noblesville neighboring school district, Hamilton Southeastern School, put together a community forum on school safety. Yeah, 24 Hour News 8's Jenny Dreisler live at Hamilton Southeastern High School. She was at the forum tonight. Jenny, what'd you learn? Well, tonight, hundreds of parents got the chance to meet face to face with school officials and police to address some of those safety concerns. Both sides tell me it's a very important dialogue they can benefit from. Thank you for taking an interest in school safety. Hundreds of parents packed into the auditorium at Hamilton Southeastern High School tonight. It was all a part of a school safety forum called Safe City, Safe Schools, bringing together parents, Fishers Police, city leaders, and HSE school officials. One of the questions is always, what are you doing? What are you doing to prevent? What are you doing that we may not be aware of? Are you contemplating putting school resource officers in more buildings? Are you looking at metal detectors? Are you looking at arming teachers? Those questions and others were raised tonight as parents submitted questions to a six person panel made up of police and school officials. I do want a metal detector and a more safety concern on that one. I don't want, you know, I think, uh, um, I don't like the idea of, uh, you know, uh, of teachers having guns all the time. Fisher's police also went over the emergency plan that the school's practice called ALICE, which stands for alert, lock down, inform, counter, and evacuate. The plan was used in the Noblesville shooting on Friday. It's this transparency that both sides hope will create more open lines of communication. I've got a number of phone calls, emails, texts, tweets to me about uh, parents that are very concerned, and, and uh, we want to make sure that they are, to your point, being, we're being as transparent as possible about the things that we're putting in place to ensure their kids are safe. Now, the district tells me that they do plan to add about three to four more of those school resource officers. No word yet on where exactly they will be stationed. Reporting live in Fishers, Jenny Dreisler, 24 Hour News 8.